this interview I'm talking to Dan Stevens who is in the band Inglorious. Hello Dan and thank you for doing the interview. Thank you for having me. How did you first get into music and playing in bands? Well my dad and uncle were in bands when they were young and when I was a kid so I was around that sort of environment from an early age and then I actually picked up the guitar quite late. I didn't start until I was about 14 and then I went to music college in Guildford and then when I moved home after a few years I started playing live down in London. It was where I eventually hooked up with Nathan and Danny and ended up with this band. How did you get involved in Inglorious? Uh, well I knew Nathan probably two or three years prior to me joining. We met at a festival in Wales called Hard Rock Hell and stayed in contact. We'd play together in London and covers bands. He would get up and guest and sing a few songs and we were just friends anyway. How's the chemistry within the band? Really good. From the first rehearsal, the chemistry was there. As I said, because Nathan and me were already friends and I was friends with Danny already. I knew Phil, but not particularly well. And Vinny was the only one I hadn't met. So th there was just chemistry there pretty much straight away. I mean, we, could, we all just respected each other and we've, you know, we've never had a falling out or anything. So it's great. It's really good. I think it shows in the album. Your first album with his glorious is We Will Ride. Is this your first album release? No, it's um, my second. I was with a band called Chase the Ace and we released an album about five years ago. And then I left that band probably three years ago. And then about, yeah, about three years ago and then a year after joined Inglorious. And now this is yeah, the first album. What does it mean releasing this album with Inglorious? It means a lot. It feels like it's a long time coming, especially for me knowing Nathan for so long before being in the band and wanting to work with him because I always admired his voice. And then obviously to come through all the negativity and stuff like that. And it means a lot because I think we can really show off the chemistry we have in our songs. Because I think the songwriting shows that this is a band, you know, that enjoys playing with each other and writing with each other. Did you get to write any songs on the album? Yeah, I contributed to three on the album. Messiah, which is the next single. Do You Like It? And He Will Provide. So how does the songwriting process happen? We either write a whole song and then send it to Nathan and if he, you know, if he likes it, if he can work something with it, then it will become a song. Or we'll take ideas, like half a song, and then get together as a group and work on them, which is my preferred way of doing it because then you get the dynamics of more people involved in the song. Can you tell us a little bit about We Will Ride? It's a, a new sound, I think, for the band. Um, in production terms it's the first time the band hasn't tracked live we all tracked individually because of the covid restrictions and because that's the way that Ramesh likes to work and so it's a, a very polished tight big sound which is something new for the band and I think it really works I think it really brings these songs to life are there any softer songs on the album it's probably the heaviest album so far in terms of ballads um it has one song that starts slow, but then it builds into a, a big chorus. But the verses are quite low, but no all-out ballad like before. Personally, what's your favourite track on the album and why? I'd say it's Messiah. It was the first song that I wrote with it, the intention of it being for Inglorious. And Nathan just did such a good job with the vocal. It's it's so dynamic. It's low in the verses and then it's, you know, big choruses and... And then it goes out to a quiet middle eight and yeah, it's just a good hook and a great video. I'm looking forward to that one coming out. Explain how it was recording the album during lockdown. It was difficult because of the restrictions and the distancing. Uh, we couldn't all be in the studio at once. So we had to go in pairs basically. Uh, so the first week it was just Nathan and Phil while the drums were going down. Danny and I were at a flat nearby just running our own parts. And then Vinnie went in and got his parts done in like two days. And then it was Danny and I in. So I, I mean, I didn't even see Vinny during the recording process. So it's, it was it was strange thinking I'm gonna be on an album with this guy and I was, didn't even see him in the studio. But you know, we, we did what we had to do. We all wanted to get it done and we're all really proud of it, so. How is Romesh as a producer? Really good. He knows what he's looking for and he comes forward with his ideas and we didn't disagree with any of them, so. You know, he's just co he's confident in the way he works. He knows how he works and he's good at it. And it really, he, it clicked with us and our way of working. How did the cover artwork come about? 
that was all all from Nathan's head. He he tackles all of that stuff. He just he just he just had it on his laptop one day and was like, hey, "Do you want to see the artwork?" And it showed us a draft version of it. And we're all it wasn't what any of us were expecting. I don't think. But again, it's a bit something new uh, for the band as opposed to the previous style of artwork. But yeah, that was all Nathan. How can people get hold of the album? Uh, it's on Apple Music, Amazon. It's on our own website, uh, Frontiers website, all the online platforms. Talk to me about your guitar collection. Where to start? <laughs> I've got about, I haven't counted recently. I think there's about 25. Ranges from Gibsons mainly. Gibsons is what I play live and what I mainly play. Uh, I've got three Les Pauls, two Customs and one Custom Shop 58 reissue. I've got a couple of Strats. A Washburn, an Ibanez, an old Kramer, a couple Flying Vs. Yeah, you can't have too many. <laughs> what is your favourite guitar? Probably my White Custom. It's tough between the White Custom and the 58 Les Paul. One of them too. What was the first guitar you ever bought? My first ever guitar was a Squire Strat. And then for my 15th birthday and Christmas, I got a Flying V. How did lockdown affect the band? I think it was hard for all of us, obviously, with uh, intentions to record the album and then tour last year, of, you know, being halted. It was a blow. I think we're all very grateful that we were able to record an album. And now, obviously, with it coming out and we've got the tour in April, at the end of April, May, Hope just hope that that, has, that happens now. I mean, if it doesn't, it will happen. It will just be pushed back, but... At the moment, we're all hoping that it will happen. What was the first band you saw live? Probably big bands. It was Bon Jovi in 2004, Hyde Park. It was a really great gig. Beautiful weather, summer's day. There was like 92,000 people there. Yeah, it was really like inspiring gig. Tell me about your experiences at festivals. We've had some really good ones. The highlight being Grass Pop, I would say. Uh, Grass Pop main stage. We were second on. Uh, after FM and then we got to hang around and we were side stage for White Snake and then you know watching Def Leppard and Kiss all on the same stage that we were on it was very surreal and it was quite early on in us being in the band we'd only joined the winter before and had the headline tour so then when we got onto these huge stages it was you know really exciting they were what we were really looking forward to when we joined the band and we got sent all the festivals that we were playing. We, we haven't played a bad one. I mean, all really good, really good experiences, yeah. Who would you most like to tour with? Probably Extreme, because I, I love Nuno and I just, I want to be his friend, so <laughs> probably them. Anything else you want to mention? Uh, no, just hope that everyone's enjoying the new music. If people could pre-order the album, that would mean a lot to us because it, it helps us uh, in the long run with the charting position. And was, but, you know, mainly just hope that people are enjoying the music. A glorious release. We will ride on February 12th, 2021. And I'd like to thank Dan for joining me for this interview.